Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We're a web show about the movies that, in the future, is probably going to do a few less Cosby-centric sketches, I Ooh, guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there goes my career. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Todd. Uh, no, inappropriate. No. no, inappropriate. I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I'm here with Film Pigs Todd Robert Anderson, Stephen Falk. Oh, hi. And our very special guest, Andrew Donnelly. Welcome. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for letting me come in the building. Uh, well, thank you for coming. And uh, let's get things started with a little popcorn. Oh. A little clinkies. Popcorn. Like we popcorn. always do. Delicious. This is mm. black, black coffee. Mmm. Mm. 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 Oh, it's so good. Mm. Now, uh, we're going to start with the segment we normally start with, which is called Rash Judgments. Oh. Now, this is where we take a look at movies that are coming out in the theater soon and telling you, the hardworking viewer, whether you should or should not go see these movies based pretty much on our own dickish opinions. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't seen these movies. No. Nope. Nope. Um, we haven't uh, been sent screeners. No. We haven't been invited to screenings. Disinvited. Yeah. Uh, mm. Specifically, we're not Barred. allowed to them. But we're going to let you know anyway. Todd, what do you got for us? Uh, my rash judgment is for a movie called The Babadook. Or The Babadook? Or The Babadook. Something like that. Babadook. It's about this uh, sweet English mom who's got a sweet English kid. And they live in this really creepy house. And she buys him a... Uh, a children's book that rhymes called the Babadook, Duke, Babadook, Marmaduke, Marmaduke, and it rhymes. <laughs> it's, it's a, great a name. big silly dog. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes. It's but it's a scary children's story. It's not like Marmaduke. Mm. It's like well, it's a scary. If Marmaduke was scary, well, if you're scared of dogs, yeah. yeah it, it's not like the Cujo. It's not like a Cujo. He's like a little. Cr scary creature. I don't know why you get your kid as such a scary little children's book, but then uh, the kids start saying that the Babadook, uh -uh. Babadook, is alive and is in their house, and she's like, well, you're crazy, and she talks to therapists, and the therapists say, ah, kids see monsters, it's no big deal, but then it, guess what? It's a horror movie, so the kid's right. Oh, man. Uh, Who plays the therapist? Let me guess. I have no idea. Some Vincent D'Onofrio. No. <laughs> Cherry Jones. No. It's all English people. I don't know uh, who they are. They Vincent probably, D'Onofrio is the Babadook. They probably found their actors in a proper theater. That's how they do it in sure. England. I don't, I don't know. Um, it looks like kind of a slow burn, uh, creepy movie. It was at Sundance. It, it was well received. The, the buzz is good. Uh, I could go for a, a good, creepy, slow burn children's book come to life that's terrifying movie so i'm gonna st i'm gonna look at it is it rated r i don't know it's mm. not rated as of the time of this taping okay. oh so it could be anything it could uh, be anything could be a lot of nudity i don't know i don't think so because it mostly looks like it's just a mom and the kid maybe the mom takes a shower oh that could be all right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah all right well I'm thank you Todd. Uh, there's no nudity I'm not like <laughs> i can't i yeah i can't not speak to it's the kind nudity. of a it's kind of a deal breaker yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks like one of those smart horror movies, not not like a Friday the Thirteenth okay. show. All right. Well, hopefully there'll be some nudity. Stephen Falk. Do you guys like awkward improv? Mm-hmm. Do you like needless comedy sequels? Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're gonna love Horrible Bosses too. I can't wait. Ooh. This is the sequel to the movie <laughs> Horrible Bosses. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Stars reunites Jason. Have a period? Jason Bateman and and uh, and and Jason and Sudeikis. Uh, and Charlie Day, and Jamie Foxx, and Christoph Waltz, and Jennifer Aniston, and uh, uh, oh God, uh, Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey uh, and Chris Pine, uh, and it's about it's a, it's a sequel. Don't go see it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Well, that was concise and to the point. Thank you, Stephen. Andrew, a rash judgment. Uh, I am, would like to talk a bit about. Um, the Penguins of Madagascar. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. No longer confused with um, other animals that don't live in Madagascar. <laughs> like family pets, dogs, gerbils. Um, I will, would say up front, do not see The Penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> and here's the reason why. You should see my movie, uh, The Finches of Culver City which is a documentary that is seven hours long because I haven't cut it yet. Um, it is a story of these two finches that meet in a dumpster 
on the border of Venice and Culver City. Ah, uh, and dumpster finches. Yeah. There's one from one side and the other from the other side? That's exactly right. Yes. One finch is from one side of the dumpster, yes. and then the other finch is yeah. from the other so side the, of the, the dumpster. wrong side of the dumpster. Yeah. Exactly. And they're both, uh, they're both Mexicans. Uh -oh. um, wow. Twist. But one of them looks like uh, it might not be Mexican. It looks just like a regular finch. <laughs> and what happens is, is that there's a, there's a cotillion that goes on in the bottom of the dumpster. A quinceanera? No, a cotillion. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with that word. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a Mexican thing. No, it's not a Mexican thing. It's not. Quinceanera? The Penguins of Madagascar <laughs> is opening up tomorrow on one screen. And it's up to you to find it. <laughs> it's a mystery movie. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you guys for your rash judgment. Sure, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, now, I've got something really exciting. It's getting close um, to the end of the year, and Oscar oh. movies are coming out. Yeah. Yeah. I love Oscar, 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 Oscar movies. I love the there's Oscars. There's a lot of Oscar bait. I love awards. Um, there's a lot of indie movies that uh -huh. uh, go for Oscars. And, I love uh, Halle Berry, who won an Oscar. Yeah, we've, mm. got, we've got a trailer, you guys, what? for a, uh, a very intense drama. Oh. oh. Uh, it's a little indie drama. Sure. And Remember that guy who ran through the Oscars naked? I love that guy. Yeah. And Soy bomb. It's got... No, that's not that. I'm thinking of something else. It's got Oscar written all over it. It's it's uh, uh, it's a coming of age story. Uh -huh. It's a it's a uh, 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 teaching story. Sure. It's a music story. It's it's based on a music story, but they changed it a little bit. Whoa. There's a little twist. Okay. Oh, mm. uh, so it's not a music story. Uh, yeah. That's the so twist. Is the it's twist not, is a, music not story. a music story. So <laughs> I think we should just take a look at it. And what do you guys think we should do? What How do are you, we gonna get into do this? You... Boop, 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 boop. Roll it! Roll it! This place is great. I like how greasy the floor gets. It makes for some really great trips. I'm a part of Hamp Sancton's main troupe. It's the best physical comedy school in the country. That is so great. <laughs> Now the key is just to relax. Don't worry about what your feet are doing or what the other students are thinking. You're here for a reason. Go have fun. Uh, a little trouble there. Again. Was that too big or too small? I don't know. I swear to God, if you sabotage my physical comedy troupe, I will spray seltzer water in your face like some kind of comedy Guantanamo. Dear God, are you crying? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, how's a physical comedy school, son? Pretty good. I think he's really starting to like my trips and falls. Oh, that's great. Hey, I rented us that movie that we had... So lonely. Oh. Again. <laughs> Not exactly what I said. No. no. Oh, I know. I want to be one of the greats. Because you want to be one of the greats? You can't see me anymore? I don't have time! Uh. The most dangerous words in the English language are nice trip. How can I just watch my son get abused like this? I, I can't watch movies with my dad when I'm trying to be the best. You can't give me awkward sex and diner sandwiches because you have to practice fake falling? You suck at everything. You're gonna ruin me. Oh, I've wasted my parents' money and my life. Dad, I'm sorry you're lonely, but you're a piece of shit. I'm a hero who falls. I'm nobody. I'm just in the background here in this class. I don't even matter. He doesn't care if I fall down. You're a piece of garbage. The best I'm gonna be. You're a fake. You're a fraud. Are you guys shooting a movie? I'm, I have to say that looks like a really exciting movie. It was so intense, you yeah, guys. Oh my God. I find I myself... Bet. There's a car chase scene. I don't know if it. Oh, 
but it's in the maybe it's not on the trailer. I, did I, I didn't look at it. I didn't watch the. I, clip. Well, I'm, I'm glad I, you didn't. Cause, I didn't watch the because I'm wildly attracted to the actress who plays the girlfriend in that movie. Oh, she's, she's fucking so, hot. Like, oh my god! But like, but like unconventionally like, beautiful. Like, yeah, like yeah. Un, like, like just uh, like a, a, a sea, like a like a siren from the sea yeah. that yeah. calls you to the shores of this movie. Yeah, come watch and lust after me in that scene. Yeah, I want to put my dork in between your boobs and do my Bill Cosby impression. <laughs> It's all about bone structure with the ladies, well, like, yeah, especially the bones in the uh, the lower uh, bottom of the feet. The, yeah, the, the feet bones. Feet bones. Uh, oh, she has the, hot she feet. She has the sexiest oh. feet Tarantina's bones. gonna be all Ever over this movie. Blah, blah, blah. Not yeah. the top of the feet, the bottom of the feet. Bottom. Bottom. No, well, that's, yeah, that, that's the sexiest part. Wow, you guys. Yeah. We had, that's we, the part on the ground. It's filthy. We accomplished so much in this episode. <laughs> we did. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to recap it. Let's just but let's let's try. Try. until five. Let's maybe. just try. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so uh, we had introductions. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, that happened. Right. Then there's a bunch of other stuff. And there's then... some stuff, and then we did some rash judgments. Right. Uh-huh. There were rash judgments. And then a lot of other stuff. Uh, and then there's a ton of things. Right. And then we uh, watched a trailer for mm-hmm. a very intense movie. Oh, mm-hmm. man. That hottie. With the tall, hot foot lady in it. Jesus. Um, I want her so much. Hot fucking foot lady. And then we, it, like it hurts, I want her. And so then we bad. came back from that and we talked about the hot foot lady in the trailer. Mm, yeah. uh, oh, and now we're just feet. wrapping things up. Yeah. So uh, I, I think that's uh, just about all we can do. It's all you can so, handle at one yeah, time. You know, before we go, I just I want to thank uh, Andrew Donnelly. Thank you. Guest. Wonderful thank you. And, and, thank you. And, thank you. And, and you know, does stand up. He does stand up. I do. I do. Standing right now. He's standing up. I stand a lot, even yeah. not when I, yeah, that's a. Uh, jokes like yeah, that, you can, where can you see those What's jokes? coming up for you? Yeah. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much coming up. Uh, you know, I'm on the internet, Twitter. Uh, What's your Twitter handle? It's, it's, it's me. Uh, Andrew Donnelly. Andrew Donnelly. Andrew Donnelly. Yeah. But yeah, I do a lot of shows all over town. L.A., the improv. Um, yeah, you can check me out. Do you have a website? I don't. I, <laughs> I don't. I have Twitter and Facebook, and I also I do a thing where I'll show up at your door and knock, and I'll say, "Could you come to my show tonight?" That's great. So, yeah. uh, so when Andrew shows up and knocks on your door, go to his show. Go to his go show. show. Yep. Come on. Yep. Uh, so uh, I'd like to thank Stephen Fall. Hi. Thank you so also much. I'd like to thank Todd Robert Anderson. And until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Mm.